Okay, so hello, it's Adrian. Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And so I did get some age appropriate PR. So I thought that I would go ahead and go through what I have on and then we can go through the PR. And again, gifted, not sponsored. So this video is not sponsored at all. And as far as what I started off with this morning, um, the SPF, so the Super Goop Glow Oil with the SPF 50 is where I started. And then as far as what I went ahead and used for my foundation, use the True Match, the Cool 2.5. And yeah, mine has seen better days. In fact, it's just about gone at this point. And then um, <clears throat> as far as what I did for my eyes today, I did go ahead and use the Alice in Wonderland, the Lost in Wonderland palette. And it's a really good palette. I didn't think I needed it when it first came out. And then, um, yeah, the more that I've been playing with it, um, just really enjoying it. It has a couple of duochromes and a glitter. So the glitter is a white one, and then the two around it are duochromes. And just some really pretty finishes. So I went ahead and put this color in the crease today. I uh, did the mauve, or, or yeah, it's a mauve, um, on the lid, and then I went over it with the shimmer, which is actually a duochrome. Uh, this is what I have on the inside corner, The uh, and again, it's a duochrome, and I have that from the bottom all the way up to here. Um, I did go ahead and use the glitter. It's their new glitter formula, and I put that right along um, the brow bone, and I also use some of this on the outer corner as well. So, um, yeah, we have a really light purple, light blue, light purple kind of look going on with a lot of duochromes today. So, again, I would highly recommend this palette. It's available on ColourPop website, or um, I think you can still order it on Ulta as well. As well. <clears throat> Excuse me. So um, I do have the Incognito by Wet n Wild on and the Tartlet uh, Mascara as well as the Maybelline Sky High Mascara as well. And a little bit of this Essence Thick and Wow in Caramel Blonde as far as my brows today. So those are most of the usual suspects. Nothing new there, but what is new is that I got some of these Jones Road, and this is uh, what I got in as far as PR. And um, with the Miracle Bombs, and that's what these are, I have been inquiring for a while about you know, seeing if they were going to do smaller sizes, and so I got sent some. And with these, um, you can use these in a variety of different ways. This one is a natural one, and I went ahead and put that on underneath the foundation. So uh, my foundation is the True Match, and then um, went ahead and put the balm on underneath it. With the balms, um, you can see I have a deep little where it's scooped out there. And with the balm, you need to go ahead and break the surface. Don't just try to get, uh, use it off the surface. Dig down into it, break it, and then come up with um, a scoop on your finger to go ahead and get any color pigment or uh, just get a good dose of it. And then you take it and warm it up in your hands, and then you can go ahead and use it. Maybe not on your throat when you're trying to talk, but you know, uh, you need to warm it up in your hands so that it goes ahead and becomes more of a liquid and less of a wax. And so um, I did use, like I said, the natural one um, under the makeup today. And uh, I didn't have any problems going ahead and putting my foundation or my concealer over top of it. Then as far as what I used for my cheek, I went ahead and used the Miami Heat. And so that's what I have on as far as the cheek color today. In fact, I think I'll add a little bit more in here. And um, 
Let's see, I should probably follow my own rules and warm it up in my fingers. And then go ahead and add it in like this. Very pretty. Very, very pretty. And it does have a really pretty glow and a pretty color as well. And uh, that wasn't the only one that I used. Um, I actually did go ahead and use one other one today. And that was, let's see, uh, Magic Hour. And Magic Hour has a whole bunch of shimmery particles in it. So I used it as a highlighter today. And um, again, it has glitter inside of it. And it's called Magic Hour. Yeah. And so um, that's what I have on as my highlighter today. And I have to tell you that I do feel very, very moisturized at this point. Um, I don't think that it's caused the makeup to uh, grab or anything. Um, but yeah, it does feel very nice and moisturized everywhere right now and so that's nice and I like the glow in fact I really love the glow uh, these are going to be the smaller sizes of the Miracle Balm and they don't have these available all the time but they do have them available usually in a kit once in a while and so I have been kind of emailing over and trying to figure out you know how to um, what they were and how to work with them and that kind of thing. They do have an herbal smell to them, which actually fades really quickly. Um, it was really pronounced at the beginning, but now, yeah, I don't smell it anymore. So, um, and I have a lot on too, so I would definitely be smelling it if it was. Um, but again, it was a very herbal smell and it just kind of dissipated. I do have a brink on the lips here. And this is a ColourPop uh, lip liner. And then the next, uh, this is the Filler Instinct. So that's what I have on there. Again, um, I'm really liking the glow. And um, it doesn't feel greasy. Um, let's see, we can do this kind of test with it. It's really not fair because I'm basically... Uh, well, I had a couple of hairs stick over here, but it's not like it's sticking, sticking on me. And um, yeah, if you definitely want to add another layer of hydra hydration, and as we get older and if we're in drier climates, it's sometimes a really good idea to go ahead and do that. Um, I was oily for a great part of my life and now I'm sort of normal well actually it's more combo so I still have a t-zone that goes oily and then my cheeks aren't nearly as oily as they used to be um, and I'm not finding a problem with this in fact uh, my skin is going yay it's hydration all over everywhere so um, if I run into anything different with these, I will definitely let you know. But as of right now, um, they are working really well for me. And so uh, I think that's the end of the video. And I hope that you have a great day. And I'll see you later.